In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the if statement, the else statement, and the else if statement. Um, if conditions are very important to programming, and you're going to use them a lot, so it's really important to understand how they work, and luckily they're pretty simple. Um, in Python, it's rather straightforward. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and jump in here and create a, a basic uh, if else statement. So let's say we have um, a value. We'll just call it val. And we'll say that value equals 13. Now let's write a if statement to um, basically check that value, see if it equals another value. If it does, print something to the screen. If not, we'll print something else to the screen. Um, so, and how you write an if statement in Python is really simple. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to type if, and then we're going to type our, um, basically our expression. So let me explain real quick. So let me explain real quick uh, basically what an if statement is. Um, an if statement is basically a design structure that evaluates multiple expressions and they'll either produce a true or false as an outcome. Um, and based on that outcome, um, we'll then execute certain code. So what we want to find out here is if val equals 13 and then to end this line we'll do a semicolon or rather a colon excuse me and then we'll move to the next line tab over and then this is what we want to happen if the value equals 13 so if the statement equals true which in this case it would because value does equal 13 we want to do something and in this case we're just going to print some text to the screen Okay, now we want to expand upon this and we want to add an else statement. Um, again, this is pretty straightforward and simple. Simply type else, colon, and then the code you want to execute if the if statement evaluates to a false. Or, in other words, what I'm saying, if val does not equal 13, then execute the code here. just like that. All right, so I'm gonna save this, and let's go ahead and run it. And as you can see, it outputs the text, the value is 13. So what happens is the program runs, it stores the value 13 in the variable val, and then our first statement checks to see does val equal 13 val does equal 13 so we will execute this line of code and we will skip all of this the else and the print we'll skip that and then we'll move on to the next line if there was more in the program so what happens if we change the value to 15. so let's save this and we'll run it again and you can see here we get the text the value does not equal 13. Alright, so that's pretty easy. Now let's show you the else if statement. So we'll have to replace this else statement and we will replace it with ELIF and that's basically saying else if. And so this is basically another if statement. And so we can do another expression to try to result to either true or false. So let's do say else if val equals uh, let's say 20 let's see what should we do here I'll just do it like that 
Okay. So what's going to happen here is our program is going to run. It's going to put 15 inside the value or val, the variable val. And we're going to get to our if statement. If is going to compare, does val equal 13? No, val does not equal 13. So we're going to skip to the next line. And this is another, this is an else if. So we're going to do another if comparison. So val does not equal 13. So now we'll go to the next line. Now we're asking, does val equal 20? And in this case, val does not equal 20. So we'll skip this. So in this condition, our program should do absolutely nothing. So let's go ahead and just test that out real quick. And there you have it. Nothing got printed to the screen because none of these conditions equal true. Val is not 13, so that's false. And val is not 20, so that is also false. So if we did want our program to output something in this case, what we would do is we would then add an else statement to the end. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's run our program now. So you can see that our program first checked to see does val equal 13? No, it doesn't. Then our program checked to see does val equal 20? No, it doesn't. And then lastly, we just go to else because it did not meet this condition or this condition. So else we must print this to the screen. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, they're, they're not that complicated. Um, and this is basically how you use if statements. So we're going to do one more video on basically how to loop in Python. Actually scratch that. Let's go ahead and apply this logic to our existing application that we're building on. And that's this simulated um, basically SSH login prompt that we've been creating. So now that we've learned how to create if else statements, let's actually create an if else statement that will compare with the user inputs to a uh, username and password. And then if it's, if it's correct, we'll say success logged in. If the password is wrong, we'll tell them incorrect password and the program will close. Okay, so let's see how we're going to do this. So our program displays a welcome message. Um, then it gets the user's input for login and password, and then it displays that to the screen. So what we need is we need a function that will check the login and password and return true or false if the password is correct or not correct. So let's create a new function. Uh, I'll call it check password. And it's going to take a password variable. And now we're going to write our if statement. Um, well, we got to make a constant variable. So that's our password. Oops, wrong place. All right, so now we have a function called check password that takes a variable called password. Uh, once that gets passed in, it will check the uh, password variable that got passed in to the password variable up top. If they match, it'll return true. If not, it will return false. Um, actually, we need to globalize that variable. There we go. That way we have access to the password variable up here. All right, great. Now we have our function. So, Actually, let's instead of returning true or false, we'll just have it return some text. Uh, 
That way we can just print it to the screen. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and comment this out because I don't want this to execute right now. So now what we want to do is call the check password function. We'll pass the variable I pass because that's what the um, user is inputting for their password right here. So you can see we call the get user pass um, routine, which is right here. Asks them for the password and returns it. So we want to check to see if it equals our hard coded password right here. If it does, if these match, it's going to return true, the text true. So we actually need to write a print statement in front of that. Um, that way it'll print the result. Um, so I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and check this out. And let's see if it works. So basically what's gonna happen, oops, wrong program. And global name password is not defined. And the problem is, is I have these uh, two equal signs. They are different. Um, as you can see here, this is for comparing two values, meaning does password equal the value password? So it's comparing those two values. So you have to use um, two equal signs. If you want to um, basically store a value inside a variable, you use the one equal sign. So one equal sign or two equal signs, it, 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 it means something different to Python. So be aware of that. So that's probably what the problem was. Let's go ahead and save and let's give that another try. All right, perfect. So we got our display welcome message and now we're sitting at a login prompt. Um, and this is where we would type in, um, actually this is, actually this is kind of wrong, but that's okay. So this is where you would type in your username and now we're being asked for a password. So remember we need to enter in our secret password. And if everything is correct, our program should now print the text true. Perfect, our program worked exactly how we anticipated. Now what happens if we enter in the wrong password? You can see we get the text false, perfect. Our password, um, check password function is working perfectly. So there you have it folks, this is how you use if, else, and else if statements in your Python code. In the next lesson, <clears throat> um, in the next lesson, we're going to go over basically loops, for loops, while loops, 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 lots of loops. Um, and once we got that, we're going to add that to this program, and then we're going to we're going to keep building upon this program. So I thank you guys for watching my videos. I greatly appreciate all the thumbs up you have been giving me. This really motivates me to make more videos. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get updates on my new videos. Um, be sure to share these videos with anyone you think might uh, benefit from them. And I greatly appreciate it again, guys, and I will see you on the other side.